So a push-up, okay? Classic exercise has been around for many years. Let's look at how we can try to improve that. If Adam can set up for me in his push-up position, and before we start, let's set up here. Close the front if you want that, and even give me some exhales there to really, really set it up, okay? Present the ribs in the back as much as you can. This is your start and your finish position for the push-up now. Can you try to keep this and get down for your push-up? Really, really good, really, really good, and get back up to the top. Give me an extra bit of protraction at the top, very nice. If you'd like to take your inhale here. Nice one. Tense it up and then come back down. Really, really good, really good. This protraction at the top is management of the core in the front. Can you hold in your push-up and just lose the belly? Most people are doing push-ups like this, guys. Certainly me for a long time. Lots more pressure on the back here. Core in the front not really doing as much. And again, give me a deep breath there. Goes into the belly, goes into the front. Can you give me a deep breath from the other position? So reach, reach, reach. Deep breath into the back. We don't have to sacrifice this. We don't have to turn our front off. Typically, people have a sore back, not a sore front, okay? And we have a sore back because it's overworked. This is bones a lot and, and vertebra and nerves and things that we need to protect. In the front, what you can engage to manage this position is strong and it is capable. You just need to remind it to do so. This could be a plank. Go on your elbows on Same focus. You're in your plank. You guys know about your back ribs. You guys know about managing the abs in the front using them to move the ribs in, using them to move the ribs down. Thanks, Adam. And this is a way that is gonna soup up any and all exercises that you're gonna do in the gym, particularly if you are someone that is struggling with a little bit of low back pain. Let's look at what that rib cage is doing in your exercise. I'm just gonna ask Adam to move his ribs here. Can you flare your ribs in the front, Adam? Look at his low back. Can you tuck your ribs away? A little bit more space in that low back, okay? Ribs have a massive impact on what's happening down here and maybe vice versa. So whether it's a plank, whether it's a push-up or some variation of that, let's really try to consider what we are doing in the front and what we are doing in the back of the ribs here. 